Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard at toy-wizard.com and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today we will be reviewing the new Iron Giant 7-inch figure from Diamond Select Toys. The box is empty. What happened? <laughs> Don't panic. The toy is right here, pre-opened and ready for you guys. <laughs> so this is the new Iron Giant from Diamond Select Toys, currently on sale for $27.99. I bought mine at Big Bad Toy Store. And what's interesting about this toy is that there is a San Diego Comic-Con version in the $40 range, which is also shipping right now. But I did get this one. So standard edition, you know, middle of the road, standard grade. So we opened it up today and I'll let you guys know what I thought. So what are we reviewing today? Today we are reviewing the brand new Diamond Select Toys Iron Giant. So Iron they're Giant Robot. Iron Giant Little Boy. With the little boy. With the arms and the S. That's right. So what is it about this toy that you are so excited to review it with me? Um, um, I like I like the boy sitting on the robot's shoulder and putting the arms in and then putting on the S. So Avery, what Avery's trying to say is that the little boy, the Hogarth figure, he really wants to review it. This has a retail price of $27.99 and I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. So we are going to open this up today. We're going to check out this robot. I have a few Iron Giant things in my collection. Can I open them? Mommy? We can open it together. I love the Iron Giant. I love it too. Yeah, it's a great movie, right? It's a really great movie. It was from 1999. Beautiful animation. It was a Warner Brothers movie. And to, just to this day, I mean, the collectibles go for so much. We're talking anywhere from, you know, several hundred dollar Mondo figures. I have the min the um, Binamate from Diamond. I have little tchotchkes. Got the large one that is the Walmart exclusive. So if you guys all link the video down below of that review. Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet and the Iron Giant. Those that showed up um, at Walmart. So cool. $20. You can still find them. I'm like really tempted to open mine because it walks. Like I'm, <laughs> I've sort of had enough of hanging out. So Avery, before we get started, what do you think of these headphones? Um, good, no, I'll take it Avery is wearing a pair of headphones by Rebo. You can get a pair of your own. We'll link to the um, we'll link to them in the description as well. I know we're gonna open the robot. Thank you to Rebo for sending Avery these headphones to review. He loves them. They have a microphone and volume <laughs> control, and you have to control the volume because they get loud. All right, let's open the robot. Can you I know? open it? By well, you wanna, let's open it together. Let's show the back of the box too. You're gonna take that little boy and run, aren't you? We'll open it together. It's okay. So we have two sets of hands. We have Hogart. We have the Iron Giant himself. And we have the S. S. Here is a little boy. That's why here he sits on the shoulder. And in typical Diamond Select fashion, this robot is locked in here. So we're going to take him a couple minutes and set him free. Ow. One of my fingers. Does he go in the bath? Does he what? Does he go in the bath? No, he does not go in the bath. Why? He's made of plastic. Yeah, but he's tiny. He'll go down the drain. I cannot remember the last time a toy was so tied into its box. Whoa. <laughs> that was, whoa, right? Whoa. That was a sword fight. Oh my gosh. All right, but he's out. He is out. He is out. He is out. Battery box. Wait, he has a battery box. He does have a battery box. What does he do? His eyes are glowing. I can glow. And you can't really see it on camera so well, but his eyes, but it'll, there we go, there we go. His eyes are glowing. And his mouth is glowing. His mouth is glowing too, right, because of the eyes. Is he happy? 
He is. Does he look happy? He looks happy to me. Yeah. All right, you hold him. I'm going to talk about the accessories. So we have, again, two more sets of hands. Two sets of hands. We have Hogart. Oh my god, he's a little. He's doing a baby. He's a baby. And we have the S. Because he loves Superman. Alright, and our co-host needed a juice break. Alright, so this toy feels, to be perfectly blunt, very, very cheap. Um, it's a little disappointing. I have other Diamond Select figures, you know, they're seven inch scale, the ones that you would find in Walgreens. It looks beautiful, there's absolutely no denying that. And I really do like the gradients and the variations of gray. That is something that was successfully done on the large Iron Giant and is successfully done on many of uh, the Iron Giant toys that I've seen and that I have. So that's never the problem. It's never a problem between the gradient plastic. Um, this, again, this is a $27 toy from Big Bad, which means it was probably $25 everywhere else. Um, it really feels like it. And I was actually right about to say it feels cheaper than some of the model kits I've built, um, but I realized my model kits are like 40 bucks. I, I like the light up eyes. I do like the light up eyes. Well done there. Um, I like the stature of this toy. I like the shape, the geometry of this toy. I like the extra hands. It's, it's concerningly cheap feeling. Um, so we can either wait until I get, I receive my San Diego Comic Con exclusive version, which is also a Diamond Select, but with a little higher price point. But it might be a higher price point because San Diego Comic Con. But again, beautiful toy articulation here in the knees in the hips very simple kind of you know jointed um it reminds me a lot of a model kit this really really does um no shading anywhere on the legs and i'm craving that i want i want to get the gundam markers out articulation in the foot and this just again looks like a model kit so everything just snapped together i can feel the gundam model kit like put the or even the transformers model kit like put the top of it put the top plastic there and the foot connects like this um but there's this cool looks like a little piston looks like a piston hookup in the back so i really do like that actually aesthetically they've nailed it um they've nailed it they've nailed it it's a gorgeous toy it, there's nothing wrong with this iron giant it looks like the iron giant and um you know it's a 25 dollar toy and it feels like a 25 dollar toy it looks again on the shelf no one would question it's gorgeous but in my hand it feels a little rickety it doesn't feel like it's gonna crumble in my hand and nor has his hand his arm fell off when avery was holding him a little bit but that's what's gonna happen when a kid touches anything but everything here is working for me if i had to give this toy a, you know rating it would have to be like three and a half out of five um, because again it's gorgeous like aesthetically five out of five but it's very cheap very dinky and especially like all the everything went to like the waist up and from the waist down it's the things that were just feeling a little insecure but again beautiful beautiful toy uh, you know from one of my favorite franchises one of my favorite movies I adore the Iron Giant and so I'm just happy to have this nice looking toy in a scale that is perfect for me um, in my collection. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with us every day for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces, and everything you'd want to see from the toy industry and the toy world. So you guys be good, be safe, have fun, collect, and I will catch you soon, okay? Bye. fun. Did you just eat a booger on camera? No. Yuck.